Hello friends, this is NodeChat application tutorial series with MongoDB database. And under this part, we will show you how to submit user profile form data by using vanilla JavaScript fetch API. And then after, we will show you how to handle server response at client side. In previous part, we have made user profile form and fill that form with user profile data. Now in this part, we will cover front end code for submit user profile form data. So we have goes to chat.html file and under this file, we have goes to JavaScript code part. And here, we have to write document.addEventListeners method with two parameter. In first parameter, we have to write submit event and in second parameter, we have to write asynchronous callback function with event variable as argument. So this code will handle all submit form event. Under this function, we have to write constant form variable is equal to event.target. So it will store form element property under this form variable. Now we want to check that form has been submitted and that form ID is setting form ID. So for this, we have to write if statement and under condition, we have to write form variable and form.id property is equal to setting form. So this condition will be true if profile form has been submitted. Under this block of code, we have to write event.prevent default function so it will stop to reload web page. After this, we have to write constant form data variable is equal to new form data object with form variable. So here we have create a new form data object. Now we want to send form data to server. So here we have to write constant response variable is equal to await keyword with fetch method with two argument. In first argument, we have to write slash setting slash dynamic value of user data dot id variable. And in second argument, we have to define different option of fetch API. So in first option, we have to write method and here we have to write put. So it will use put method for send request. In second option, we have to write body and here we have to write form data variable. So it will send this data to server. After sending request to server, now we have proceed for past server response. So here we have to write constant data variable is equal to await keyword with response.json function. After this, we want to check there is any validation errors occurs or not. So for this, here we have to write if statement and under condition, we have to write data dot errors so if this condition true that means there is any validation errors has been occurs and it will execute if block of code under this block we want to handle validation errors so here we have to write validation error variable is equal to data dot errors so here we have store errors under this local variable Next we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write validation error variable dot length value is greater than zero. If this condition true, that means validation errors have been occurred. Now we want to convert validation error into HTML format. So here we have to write HTML variable is equal to division tag with class is equal to alert and alert danger class after this for fetch validation error from validation errors variable so here we have to write for loop and under condition we have to write count variable value is equal to zero 
count variable value is less than the value of validation error dot length and count variable value is increment by 1. Under this loop, we have to write HTML variable and under this variable, we have to append code like validation error variable with count index and after this, we have append br tag. So this code will fetch validation error from this variable and convert into HTML and store under this variable. Now here, we have create one message area element variable is equal to document dot get element by id method. And under this, we have to write span tag id message area. Now for display validation error, so here, we have to write, message area variable dot in the HTML property is equal to, HTML variable. So this code will display, validation error on web page. But suppose, there is no any validation error has been occur, then it will execute, else block of code. And under this block, we want to display, success message, so here, we have to write message area variable dot in the HTML property is equal to division tag with class is equal to alert and alert success class. And between this tag, we have to write data dot message so it will display success message on web page. So after this, we want to display update user profile image and user name on web page. So here, we have create, one user uploaded image variable is equal to, document dot get element by id method. And under this, we have to write, span tag id, user uploaded image. Now for display, updated user profile image, so here, we have to write, user uploaded image variable, dot in the HTML property is equal to, image tag, with source is equal to, uploads directory, slash data dot image, so it will display, updated image on web page. After this, we have to create one login username variable is equal to document dot get element by id method and under this we have to write division tag id login username so here under this variable we have stored this tag property and after this here we have to write Login username variable dot in the HTML variable is equal to data dot name, so it will display updated user first name on web page. So here our JavaScript code is ready for submit form data. Now we have goes to server dot js file, and here we have create routes for handle profile form data. So here we have to write app dot put method with three parameter. In first parameter, we have to write, slash setting slash double colon id, and in second parameter, we have to called, handle file upload middleware for upload file, and third parameter, we have to write, asynchronous callback function, with request and response variable. Under this routes, we have to write, try and catch block, for handle error. Under this try block, for temporary send success response to client, so here, we have to write response.status method with 200 status code. And after this, we have to write JSON method with message as key and in value. 
we have to write success message like save data so this success message will be displayed to client and after this we have goes to catch block of code and here we have to send error response to client so here we have to write response dot status method with 500 status code and after this we have to write json method with errors as key and in error message we have to write internal server error so this error message will be displayed to client if there is any error has been occur so here our code is ready now for check output in the browser we have goes to terminal window and here we have to run node server.js command which will start node development server now here in the browser we have open node chat application on web page and here we can see that chat application index page has been display with login and registration form now we have enter register user login details under this login form after this we have click on login button and after click on login button here we can see that user has been login into system and here on web page we can see that setting and logout button has been display now we have click on setting button so here we can see that setting form has been appear on web page with filled data now we want to check that form submission is working or not so we have directly click on submit button so after click on submit button here we can see that there is any validation error has been occur then it will display validation error so in this part we have seen how to submit user profile form data by using vanilla javascript in next part we will learn how to update user profile data in MongoDB server, so we will be meet in next part.